Good morning, Team Redstone. It's Colonel Kelsey Smith and Sergeant Major Jimenez. We're your Redstone leadership team, and we're here today to discuss with you our plan uh, at the installation here to combat COVID-19 and potentially recover. On Tuesday, you heard Governor Ivey discuss her safer at home policy. Yesterday, on Wednesday, myself and General Daly met with the remainder of the tenant leadership for all of the installations organizations. At that meeting, we discussed a methodology uh, to begin to come back to work. Before I get started providing you that methodology, I think it's important to note uh, and to express and to emphasize to you that that methodology will begin no earlier than 15 May. I think it's also important to express to you that it is conditions-based. So as we observe the workforce and as we observe the virus around us, we'll be making judgments and recommendations based on how the population is interacting with the potential virus. And as we see any spikes uh, in the virus, how we will deal with that. This is a comprehensive, methodical, and phased approach that is entirely conditions-based. So as we take a step forward, we will continue to evaluate our performance and how the community around us performs and how it's affected by the virus before we seek to take the next step and eventually uh, find ourselves back to normal. Now it's far be it for me to describe for you what normal will be within the next month or the next six months or to even put a timeline in place. The best timeline that I can give you today is that no earlier than the 15th is when Redstone Arsenal will begin to consider transitioning forward. What we ask of you today is to continue to abide by the safer at home guidance that Governor Ivey has put out and continue to remain in contact with your chains of command to ensure that you are getting the most accurate information from your tenant organization and their potential expectations of you as we contemplate coming back to work here on the arsenal. I know this wasn't absolutely the information you, you were waiting to hear, but it's what we do have to give you today. Please be patient. And now I'd like to turn it over to Sergeant Major Jimenez to talk about how you can influence the COVID-19 pandemic. Thank you, sir. The most important way to continue to combat COVID-19 is continue to wash your hands and sanitize and continue to wear a face cover if you're within six feet. I wanna say thank you all for what you have done and what we'll continue to do to continue to fight COVID-19.